Oh, there's a fish. Yep. There he is. Whoa, whoa. He's hitting it. He's got it. There we go. Oh, yep. That feels like a perch. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan Waters, and you are watching The Water's Edge. Today, we're going to be mainly targeting white perch and rockfish. I'm getting a late start this morning. As you can tell, the sun is already up. That shouldn't be a problem. I've got a nice high tide with an outgoing current. I'm mainly going to be fishing shaded areas, so any docks that have a lot of shade under them, shaded shorelines. And what we found recently is that these perch and rockfish are seeking out these shaded areas during the better part of the day. It's midsummer right now. Temperatures are hot. Water temps are like 80 degrees, so they're seeking out any cooler areas that they can find. And what we found to be very effective is taking live minnows and pitching them up under docks. And it seems that bouncing them along the bottom right next to the pilings is catching quite a few fish for us. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm fishing on the West River. I put in at the free ramp that is down in Shady Side, and I'm gonna be fishing kind of towards the mouth of the river. For my fishing setups, I've just got my uh, little Crappy Max rod that I like to use for perch, and I've got a 1 16th ounce jig head on there. And I'm just gonna be putting minnows on that and dropping it down to bottom, casting to docks. And then the other rod I'm using today is my Johnny Morris Carbon Light 2.0. This is a great inshore medium light rod and I've got a small paddle tail rigged up. That's the Z-Man diesel minnow. I think that's the purple death color. I think that's a quarter ounce jig head, maybe a little bit lighter. So like I said, I got minnows and that's like perfect size right there. These perch will eat bigger minnows. I do have some, some smaller ones in here, but that is perfect bait for perch and rockfish right there. I'm gonna bounce along the docks and fish the shade. Typically the larger docks with the bigger shaded areas hold more fish. And if you have any docks that look like they've been there for a long time, that seems to hold more fish than the newer ones. I'm gonna start by using a live minnow and pitch it up to the shade next to the docks. And hopefully there's some fish willing to bite. So we'll get up here and start fishing. This looks like a good dock to try. I've been paddling down and some of these docks have had, had boats in the water. So haven't really wanted to fish them, but this one's nice and big and I could I could see some fish being on this so we're gonna pitch that under there and usually you can tell pretty quick so after a couple casts in there and I keep moving let's see if we can find one Ooh, that minnow might be dead now yep get a new minnow it's a small one but perch should hit it oh there's a fish yep wasn't even paying attention that's a nice perch. It's a real nice perch. There we go. Look at that. That is what we came out here for. Hanging right in the shade. There's probably a few more in there. These are a perch are usually a schooling species. So where there's one, you can usually find more. I'm gonna paddle out of here and reposition. It's a nice perch right there, guys. Beautiful fish. And I am gonna keep some today. Do a little catch, clean, and cook when we get back to the house. So I've got my stringer here and we're just gonna thread them on. Hopefully be able to fill this sucker. Here we go, first fish. Like I said before guys, these little mummy chug uh, mud minnows, whatever you want to call them, are perfect, perfect bait for perch. And uh, honestly, all of our saltwater species, flounder love them, rockfish love them, drum, speckled trout. You can catch a little bit of everything on these little minnows. And if you live near the water and have a minnow trap, you can usually get your own pretty quickly. So this morning I went down, baited my trap up and got a couple dozen minnows for today's trip. Just gonna keep pitching it up under here, try and find some fish. Something tapped it. Yeah, he's got it. There we go. There we go. Another nice perch. Another nice perch. Sweet. Another nice eating size white perch. Oh, he got me good. Oh, spikes me pretty good. Ow. Thing you gotta be careful of with them. They do have some good spikes on them. We're gonna put him on the stringer. I'm doubling him up because I think I'll be able to fill this up today. Yeah, that perch got me pretty good. That's gonna hurt. All right, we're gonna reposition, get back in here, see if we can catch some more perch. My setup today, I'm using, like I said, my Crappy Max. It's just a quick tip, a little panfish, ultra light rod. And we've got, I think this is 10 or 15 pound braid, which is a little on the heavier end, down to, I think, 10 pound leader, which you don't always need to go leader. I always like to have some type of uh, fluorocarbon leader uh, if I'm fishing with braid, especially when I'm fishing your structure, because that braid, if it gets caught on a sharp surface, can break pretty easily. Got a little school of minnows right here next to me. Something took my minnow. Felt a thud and minnow's gone. It's all right, I got plenty today. Usually when I'm doing this, I like to get at least three dozen minnows, um, usually some more just cause if you get a really good perch bite, you can go through them very quickly. There he is. Whoa, whoa. 
Yep, another perch. There's a stack of them up under there. I'm just gonna back off. Get in here, that's a beautiful, beautiful perch right there. I consider these guys like some of the best eating fish in the bay. I'll take these over rockfish any day. Don't get me wrong, I do love eating rockfish, but man, there's just something about a white perch. All right, we found some fish. I'm gonna keep plucking them off this dock if I can. I love perch fishing. This is so much fun. A lot of people, when they perch fish, they just go out and like bottom fish like they would for like spot or croaker. Man, if you can get on the light tackle, white perch bite in the shallows, it is a lot of fun. There he is. He hit it while I had my rod sit down. Oh, he's trying to break me. Oh, wow. Good fish, good fish. Yes, sir. That is what we're looking for. Nice, healthy white perch. Biggins, biggins today. There we go. We'll keep fishing this dock as long as I'm, I keep getting bites. Now, I would like to find maybe a couple couple rockfish. Um, they are fun to catch. And honestly, the uh, striped bass closure is getting ready to start in about, I don't know, I think 10 days or so. The last two weeks of July, they shut down striper season just because temperatures are so warm and those fish do not do very well in the hot weather and, and warm water and low oxygen conditions. If I get one today, I'll probably keep it just to uh, eat some striper. Come on, fish. He's hitting it. He's got it. Yep. Yep. There's a stack of fish in there. Another nice perch. These are solid fish. Man, he got that hook down pretty good. Ow, gosh, man, these spikes. You gotta be careful when handling them. One, their gill plates are very sharp, but they've got some nasty spines on them right there that if that goes into any part of your body, your finger, your hand, your foot, it's not gonna feel good. We are repositioned, rebaited. We got five perch on the stringer and I think we're gonna get some more in here. Gonna keep fishing it while I'm catching fish. This is a lot of fun. If you guys have a kayak, uh, you can do this, but even if you have a community pier, if your neighborhood has some docks in it, you can go down, and uh, I grew up doing this, but just go down, you can take minnows like this, or you can take small panfish jigs and jig the pilings, cast to the shaded areas. That's how we've caught a lot of perch growing up. You don't necessarily need to have a kayak to do this. It does help because you can cover more water. I grew up in a community that I was lucky enough to have two community piers, and both of those piers were very productive for perch, so just got hit. There he is. Oh, he's gonna break me. He's on that piling. He came back out. There we go. Back him out of here. Back him out of here. There we go. Another solid fish. Put him on the stringer. Up to half a dozen fish. Good eating size ones too. There we go. Now, in this situation with the wind blowing me, a kayak anchor would come in handy, but I unfortunately do not have one because I don't like to go out in real rough conditions. And I mean, I'm catching fish here, but you're, you're seeing I'm having to reposition every time because once I hook up, that wind's blowing me, I'm having to back off of the dock. So if I had a kayak anchor, I could anchor up right there. Kayak would drift back. I'd be facing this way and I could just cast right up to the dock. And I'm kind of just casting in there letting the jig sink to the bottom with the minnow. With this braid, when a fish grabs it, you can feel that thump pretty good. And there's a lot of boat waves coming through, which is uh, not making it easy to fish. All right, we're pulling up to the next dock that I wanna fish. I'm gonna see if we can keep plucking some perch out of here. Yeah, as you can see, these, these larger docks with more shade under them are the ones that I'm really trying to hone in on because those seem to be the ones that are holding more fish. Oh, wow, yep. Oh, he's around the pylon. Get out of there. They get out of there. White perch. Yep. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish right there. That's a fat fish. Wow. Good eating size fish. Yeah, they're hanging right where I thought they'd be. Right in that shade. Here we go. Let's go catch some more. All right. Just one fish off of this dock, but this one next to it looks pretty good. So slide on over and fish that one. Come on, there's gotta be a fish on this dock. Yep, yeah, there he is. Another nice perch. Oh, he inhaled it. 
Another perch getting added to the stringer. This just goes to show you can still catch fish during the you know middle of the day in the summer. Shade and current are gonna be your best friends when the water's really warm. Catching some spot. Nice. Nice kayak. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, Brooklyn Kayak Company is the make. How much it cost? This one uh, was around, it was actually on sale. It was about 1800. Yeah, it's not bad. It gets me, gets the job done for like fishing in the river. I love it. I'm doing some perch fishing right now. I've caught some, I got a few. This is actually one of my uh, minnows. Yeah, just minnows on a small jig head. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite docks to fish. It always holds perch. Yeah, it's a good one. Well, good luck. I have to get close to get this minnow up under there, but let's see if it gets a bite. There we go. Skip it right up under there. There's a fish. Yep, there we go. There's some perch up under there for sure. Yep, it's a nice perch. All right. We'll sit here and pluck away while we can. Figured there'd be some perch up under there. It's too good of a dock not to have any fish on it. That's a decent stringer of perch, guys. Putting together a nice haul for the day. Boat waves, boat waves, boat waves. Always fun to deal with. That's the only thing about the middle bay in the middle of summer is that there's always boat traffic. So if you're on a small vessel or a kayak, just be prepared to be dealing with boat waves no matter where you're at. There we go. There we go. Oh, another nice perch. Oh, that looks like a rockfish. Yep, that is a rockfish. Not a keeper, but it is a rockfish. Ooh. Just a shorty. Let's see if I can unhook him in the water. Flashing me. There we go. Small fish like that. If you can keep them in the water and release them, it's usually best. Well, really, I should say any rockfish in the summertime, just because if you put too much stress on them, they, they tend to die. Let's see if we can get rockfish out of here or a bigger perch. It'd be nice. Oh, nope. Got to get them a little bit further up under there. That might do. Oh, yep. That feels like a perch, though. Yeah, just a nice perch. Real nice perch. The right minnow to throw for a big rockfish up under there. This is a big, big minnow. It's gonna take a decent sized fish to get that down. So let's get back over here and reposition ourselves. All right, send him up under, see what happens. Oh, just got thumped. That feels like a better fish. It is a rockfish, <laughs> not a keeper though. He thumped it. There we go. Oh, just get up in here. Here we go. There we go. Uh, about a 15 inch rockfish or so. Get him back quickly, make sure to revive him, and down he goes. Let's keep pitching up, see if we can get a either bigger rockfish or keep plucking some perch. I will be happy with either. Feels like a perch, yep. Yep, nice one too. Ow, spiked me. Ow, God, this one has spiked me twice. Come on, buddy, stop. Just want to put you on my stringer. There we go. All right, putting a new minnow on. Just caught about an 18 inch striped bass. I'm not sure if the GoPro was on for that or not. It's been overheating a little bit just because it's about 90 degrees out right now. But I just put a new battery in and we're gonna keep fishing. There's a fish. Little striper. Oh, nice perch, nice perch, real nice perch. 
real nice perch. There we go. And he got that minnow down. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big minnow right there. Let's see what hits him. Oh gosh. I don't know what that was, but he chased it way out. That was either a perch or rockfish. There goes a couple skates spawning in there. Let's get another big one if I can find one. It's a decent sized one. Yeah, that fish came out of the water almost, trying to get my minnow as I was reeling it in. Big perch, big perch. Real nice perch. Oh. Oh, 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 saved that one. What's interesting is that these rockfish that I've caught off this dock have been farther up under it than the perch. The perch are kind of on the, on the edge of the shade, but these stripers are like way up, way up under it like that. Let's see if I get one here. Nope, that feels like a perch. Digging hard. Real nice one. Real nice one. I only need one more perch to fill my stringer. This is my type of grocery shopping, guys. Like I said before, perch are one of my favorite fish to eat. They're absolutely delicious. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a rockfish. That's a rockfish. That's a rockfish. Oh, come on, buddy. Get up in here. Nice. That one's close to 19 inches. The slot this year is 19 to 24. I don't think I have a tape measure, but actually my net does. He's about an 18, about an inch short. Oh well, still a fun fish to catch. Is he ready to go? Yes, he is. See you, buddy. Well, I just caught my last perch that fills my stringer up, so I've got quite the haul today. That is a nice stringer of fish right there. Some really, really nice, good eating size white perch. So that's probably gonna wrap it up for me today. I caught some small stripers, but there's just not a ton in the river right now. I need to get back and get these fish on ice, clean them up, and we're gonna do a little catch, clean, and cook. So hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video, but stay tuned, because we're gonna cook up some delicious perch fillets. All right, I'm back at home. I'm gonna start cleaning some fish. I've got my electric Mr. Twister. This is a great fillet knife. It allows me to fly through the perch pretty quickly. So we're gonna get these fish cleaned up, and then we're gonna start cooking them up. We are in the kitchen getting ready to cook up some delicious white perch fillets. For today's meal, I'm gonna go with a real simple recipe, just broiled white perch. So I've got the oven heating up now. Got my baking sheet ready, already sprayed with oil. White perch fillets are in the bag. That is a lot of good looking white perch fillets. Gonna cook them all. I'm not sure if I'll eat them all, although I probably could. Gonna melt down some butter. Got a little bit of thyme. Got some Old Bay that I'm gonna season my flour with. So my plan is to dry these fillets off. I'm gonna lightly coat them in a little bit of flour and I'm gonna season that with some Old Bay. Then we're gonna melt down this butter and get the perch fillets all laid out on the tray here. Once this butter is melted, I'm gonna pour that over top of the perch fillets. Maybe season them with a little bit more Old Bay and definitely put a little bit of thyme on them. And then put them in the oven. Should only take five or six minutes to until they're cooked and ready to go. I'm gonna melt down half a stick of butter. That right in half. Pop this into the microwave. 
take a couple minutes. While that's cooking down, you can add some Old Bay to this flour, season that up, and then just mix it in. We got our butter melted down, so we'll set that to the side for now. We can start putting our perch fillets into this flour mix. Once they have that coating, we can go ahead and start putting them on top of the tray. Okay, got all of our perch fillets out on the tray. This is a perfect amount of fillets to fill in this whole tray and probably won't eat all of them at this meal, but I'll save them in the fridge. They will make a good snack over the next day or two. So we're gonna take our butter and just pour it over top of all these fillets. I think we could use a little bit more butter. So I'm gonna melt down some more and then put it on. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna add a little bit of more Old Bay just to season them up a little bit, and then we'll pinch some thyme on top, and then they'll go in the oven. We will give those about five minutes and then check them, see if they're ready. If not, give them a few more minutes, but it shouldn't take long. Now that looks delicious. I've already taken a couple bites. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I don't usually broil my perch, but I wanted to give it a try. Pretty simple recipe, easy to cook up. Man, that is just falling right apart. Cooking it in that butter, that looks delicious, guys. It's still very hot, but let's take a bite. Mm. Man, I'm telling you guys right now, I've said it in past videos and I'll say it again. White perch is one of my favorite fish to eat from the Chesapeake Bay. I think I'd much rather prefer this over striped bass. I mean, rockfish is good, but perch is just so sweet and it's just a nice white flaky meat, no fishy taste to it at all. Just an absolutely delicious, delicious filet. This was a fun one guys, and I'm really enjoying this meal right now. Thank you guys for watching. If you stuck around this far, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. I've been having a blast this summer with the perch fishing. If you guys wanna see me do a catch, clean, and cook with uh, any other species, just let me know, I'd be happy to try it. But once again, thank you guys for joining me on this episode of The Water's Edge. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm gonna finish eating this plate of perch, and then I might go get seconds. See you guys on the next one.